everyone, how's it going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel. And we've got some exciting news on the channel today. News I thought I couldn't share because my internet has been down and a bit of a nightmare the past few weeks because just moved to a new place. But that all out of the way, I managed to get a little bit of a temporary internet solution so I could bring you this video and hopefully all the follow-up videos coming out soon. Because, of course, we've got the announcement for the Planet Zoo North America Animal Pack, which I'm very, very excited for. This is a pack, um, you know, that I've always kind of wanted. I've wanted something like this, especially for my current park bill, October Lake. It's come a little bit late for me, of course. October Lake is coming very quickly to an end. So I'm going to have to rejig a lot of things and make space because we've got eight new incredible animals, all of which I'm very, very excited for. This is, um like of course an animal pack very similar to the south um southeast asian uh, animal pack we got earlier in the year was it this year yeah it was this year and that of course we got eight animals as well and this is just in that same vein and the southeast asian animal pack was easily my favorite dlc of the whole lot um and this north america animal pack looks to be very similar it just looks so good we're getting some really, really great animals that I've wanted for a good long time. For example, the the beaver, the North American beaver, it looks adorable. It looks like it has some form of dam building mechanic, um, which I'm very excited for. And of course, you will have seen the um, announcement trailer at the start of this video. So, you know, it's just, it looks great. It looks like an amazing addition. It's such a unique animal too. And one which I personally have always like, wanted in a zoo game, like back when I played Zoo Tycoon 2, back in the day, beavers were always one of my starter animals because they were easy to keep, they had a wetland environment need and that was my favourite biome. So I have an attachment to these animals, they're brilliant. We're also getting the moose of course, which is absolutely perfect, moose or mooses, I still don't know what the plural of moose is, it's probably not meese, but um, so excited for them, they look so good in the, in the um, footage we've seen, the Antlers are big and majestic. The fur, the fur coat looks really nice. And moose are such big animals. Like, I always forget how really large they are until you see the videos that people post online when there's a person nearby it, and you see the the like the absolute magnitude of these animals. They're huge and incredible. Very similar to the beaver. Used to be a starter animal for me in whatever zoo game I was playing. Like, I'd always choose the moose first. Such a great animal, and I'm so excited to add it to my zoos. Uh, we're also getting an aquatic, we're getting this Californian sea lion, which is very cool. We're getting the cougar, of course, which is a North American feline. One of the few North American felines um, that exist, there's not that many of them, so the cougar is probably the most iconic, I'd say. Uh, we're getting the American alligator, which I'm a huge fan of, because that means we get, like... If I'm not mistaken, we have all the major groups of crocodilians now, except for the false gharial, so... Very, very glad for that, uh, especially now that we're getting alligators, which are very, uh, you know, there's a good bit of difference there between them and the other crocodilian, so really glad to have them. We're getting the prairie dog, which I don't think we've seen any pictures or footage of yet. Uh, even I'm not sh super sure about um, prairie dog species. I think they're going to use very similarly to, like, um, they're going to be similar to what the meerkats were like in the last pack, like, they're going to use the burrowing animations, I guess. Um, I don't know, but I guess that's what the situation will be like. And of course we're getting the arctic fox as well, which is really interesting. I remember people wanting that really badly when the first ever DLC came out, which was the arctic pack nearly two years ago now. And I'm glad that it's finally joining us here. And of course we got an exhibit animal, which is the American bullfrog, which I'm very excited for because I love frogs. They're so chubby and cute and bullfrogs especially. So very excited for that. Um, yeah, we've also got some little enrichment items. We're going to get some like... Um, Predator enrichment like the pronghorn piñata. Um, we're also getting a beaver pool, which is going to be really interesting. It seems like we also have an underwater feeder, so I assume that's a new thing for the Californian sea lion. But yeah, I'm tremendously excited for this pack. It looks so good. I'm loving all these animals, all the features, and I'm, I'm just really excited. All of them are so new and so unique. Like each one has something unique about them, and like I think in terms of behaviors as well, a lot of them are going to feel a really like separate niche from each other like the beaver is not going to feel the same kind of behavioral vibe as the moose or the sea lion each one's going to use different things different behaviors all that sort of stuff so very excited we're also getting a free update of course that was announced just a few days before that's update 1.7 and i think this is also probably the biggest free update we've gotten lots of very cool stuff um 
lot of terrain things which I really appreciate. So, because we're also going to be starting a new zoo relatively soon, um, considering that, you know, October Lake's again wrapping up. With this new pack, actually, maybe not, but, you know, we'll talk about that when I make those episodes. But so, now we're going to get options for terrain types and we're starting new sandbox zoos where we can actually get pre-sculpted terrain, which I think is a great idea because it gives you more to work with, gives you more inspiration. Working around these things is going to be really cool. We're also going to get some new um, options to use scenario zoos in sandbox modes, uh, which will be really cool, I think, because we've had quite a few cool scenario zoos, which I'd love to use um, as sandbox zoos, because so we've been able to use the campaign zoos, um, which is obviously what we've done with October Lake. But now we get access to the scenario zoos too, so that's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, now, big cats are going to be able to do deep swimming as well, which is great. The Jaguar, Bengal Tiger and Siberian Tiger will be able to do that. Of course, some animals are just not, like lions, probably, they're not a fan of swimming, so easily not um, something that would be necessary here. I think that might be all the animals that need to be given deep swimming. I'm not sure if there's any missing. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any other animals that I'm forgetting about that still need to be, to have this implemented, so. Also, it seems like um, they're changing the deep swimming thing a little bit. They've got it a bit smoother, so now the water depth doesn't actually have to be like four meters can be two meters now which is really good um, but though that might not be for all animals it seems like it's uh, it ranges we're also getting like these little seating areas for animal talks which is great i kind of made like a version of that in october lake uh, obviously not usable but this version is so we can actually add that in and tweak it so that this is going to be like how the new thing works we're also getting some new scenery placement randomization which i'm very excited for so that's going to be of course just um being able to like rotate rocks and stuff like uh, automatically rather than us doing it one by one super useful and you know a great feature for building big naturalistic areas so yeah i hope you guys um enjoyed the the trailer the preview i'm super excited for this pack i'm very glad i've managed to sort out like a temporary internet thing because i was panicking like because i found out my internet was going to be delayed until like the 7th of october and that would be after this pack drops. So I was gonna be like, oh my god, how am I actually gonna download this pack to use in my game? But um, I've got this like temporary thing set up, so fingers crossed it works out. And um, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for this pack. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I know some people do prefer the packs with building items, but personally I think the animals here, the quality of each seems so, so good that it's gonna be completely like just completely worth it so very very excited anyways that's all for me at the end of course i'll play the trailer once more for all of you so you can watch it again <laughs> i mean it's worth watching again it's a great trailer their trailers are always spectacular um i also apologize by the way if it's a little bit echoey i've just moved to a new place like i said um i haven't like sound treated anything so maybe i'll put up a little like sound dampening pads or something because it's a bit of an echoey room so apologies for that but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, do like the video if you did like it. Uh, subscribe for more Planet Zoo content. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.